The latest violent eruptions spewing fountains of lava. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. Now at least 19 fissures splitting open in residential neighborhoods. Gas so toxic, it's killing trees and grasses. Geologists say these fiery flows scorching the Big Island appear to be moving faster, burning hotter, and are more erratic than ever before. After destroying yet another structure, lava is moving closer to Sang Chong White's home, just a half mile away. This is the first time in my life. Scared me to death. Now the billowing crater atop Kilauea appears ready to blow. When the lava lake inside drops, hitting cooler groundwater below, a catastrophic steam explosion could launch ballistic boulders the size of cars into the air. From the air last week, we could see smokestacks and the steady progression of the lava field. It now covers land the size of 100 football fields. Over the weekend, with new fissures threatening a geothermal power plant, thousands more could be evacuated, leaving homes but keeping hope. I'm really proud of our people and how much love we really do have here for each other. Tonight, Kilauea's fury already felt, but its most powerful blast may be yet to come. With dozens of structures destroyed by the lava, including this home, you can smell the sulfur in the air, though at this area it is safe to breathe. All day long from this location, we've also heard massive eruptions, a clear sign the volcanic activity here is far from done. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.